What up, YouTube? Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a reptile room update. So fun. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys have been requesting it, so I decided why not do it. Um, most of you guys have been messaging me and commenting on most of my videos, so I decided why not do it. It's for its own good. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, I bet everyone, everyone knows this Spongebob episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, I loved that episode when I was a little child. Always, always watched it. By the way, for those of you who have not watched that Spongebob episode, sorry, it's going to be a spoiler alert. Um, Patrick has a cookie in his pocket. So, that's how that goes. Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and start up with the update. Um, there's Mowgli, right there, the beautiful dragon lizard dude. Um, yeah, he's doing awesome. He nice big old full fat belly, even though he hasn't eaten today, still. Um, I will feed him, and this is his tank for right now. Um, I do have this big plan to like, because I'm remodeling my whole room, and since it's, it's gonna be really awesome, like, I'm planning on making this or my dad's gonna help me with it and we're gonna make this giant rack that comes out from like here to here and it's gonna hold like all my tanks and then for like my display animals and then over here from like here on um, I'm gonna have my racks for my breeding um, later on they're not gonna be like any bigger than the width of my dresser and yeah so that'll be pretty fun I'll enjoy doing that probably first start out with wholesaling and then I'll get into breeding as time goes on and I meet more breeders and stuff but that's a little bit further down the line I have not mentioned to you guys yet that I did end up having to get rid of my snakes sorry unfortunately I did um, financial issues stuff like that so yeah so if you're kind of looking forward to seeing those I'm sorry uh, but yeah so this is Mowgli the lizard He's doing awesome, nice big full fat belly like I said. Yeah, he's basking. He's been basking all day. So I do have a plan with his basking spot. I'll probably, I don't know, end up doing something. I'm not exactly totally sure what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that light was on Chester's last time you saw, but I ended up moving it because I never used that, that I would, like, never used that light for Chester, um, because he already has a heating pad, so I just put this in Mowgli's tank, and it's just a 75 watt heat infrared, so he can sleep in peace and heat, yeah, so, over oh, here's my null lizard, um, nothing much, just a two and a half gallon tank. Um, I originally bought them for food for Mowgli. And don't think I'm an animal abuser because I am not an animal abuser. I went in there, put it in there, and immediately took it out and was like, I can't do this. And like put it in the tank and fed it and made it all like my own. So I have a soft spot. Um, and then over here is my fish. His name's Norman. Say hello. His name's Norman. Yeah, he's a pretty cool fish. Yeah. Okay, that's awkward. Yeah, so that's that. The set of the room is covered. That's just a bunch of stuff. Nothing much. Um, again, I am going to have a contest when I get 2,000 subs. So that may be a little bit, but it's going to be a pretty awesome contest. I have different plans in store. Um, just hit that subscribe button. It's just that simple. And you will have an awesome chance to win prizes. All reptile related. So it'll be awesome. Hit that subscribe button up there. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Okay, so this is Chester. Er, <coughs> yeah, there's Chester. Well, um, okay. Yeah. That's his tank. It's really no different. Um, more water and um moved it up to my dresser. I don't know when's the last time you saw it, but yeah. And over here's Chester. Um, he's in there. You can't see him. That glare is in the way. Right there, you can see him. He's in there. Um, he is going to be moved to a um, 20 gallon long. It's easier for me to get into, and it's just easier for me to build a rack 
because I'm probably going to have breeding plans with him in the near future, um, just to then put two females in there, or put, actually no, two females will go in here, and then I'll put Chester in there to breed them, so, yeah, that's pretty much, I know I don't have that many reptiles, sorry, but, that's that, oh, and I will do this, this my little update on my mealworm breeding thing, yeah, this is doing awesome, I have a bunch of beetles, and a bunch of baby mealworms, which you cannot see, but I will pick one out, and there are a little bit of bitty little eggs in here all over the place, can you see that little moving thing, yeah, I have hundreds of those in there, and I fed all my big ones already, but I haven't had to buy any worms in such a long time. And then, yeah, those are my beginning to pupate um, uh, mealworms. Or, yeah, okay. But yeah, so that's that. Um, that's doing taking off. It's taken me almost a year to get that many, so it's kind of annoying, but just gotta sacrifice through it. So that does save you money in the long run. Don't you worry about it. So, oh, with the labels, that's little mealworms, black beetles, and pupa. So, ooh. all right. Hope you enjoyed this segment of my really short reptile room update. I'm sorry I don't have as many reptiles as you thought I would. But, yeah. So, comment, rate, subscribe. We'll do a contest when I get 2,000 subs. And, yeah, so I will see you children later.